Hello my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another video, uncut, unedited and no bull. Today I would like to talk about coffee. Please stick around because I would like to talk about a couple of things that main misconceptions about coffee. And I would like to thank you for watching this video and any other videos on my channel. Can you please do me a favor? Please like, subscribe and hit the bell button so you won't miss any future videos that I post. Also, this video is part of, uh, that goes under umbrella, trust me, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a doctor, I won't hint you on any medication, I'm anti-medication myself. I would like to help you with healthy lifestyle and happy life. Let's start with coffee. I would like to debunk the myth about coffee. Simple things that people say when they drink coffee, which are not true. So for example, people say, oh, my sleep wasn't that good. I need, I need energy. I would like to take it, tell, tell it straight away. There's nothing in coffee that would create energy in the body. Energy in the body derives from two things, glucose and ketone bodies. None of that is part of the coffee. So I would like to go to second item, which say I had little sleep. I need something to wake me up. Here, we're a little bit more truthful what coffee does to us. So what coffee is? Coffee, basically, it's a stimulant. And the way we wake up in the morning, we've got this balance between melatonin, which is hormone of sleep, and cortisol, which is hormone of stress. So towards the morning, with your circadian rhythm, melatonin goes down and cortisol goes up. That's supposed, if, if, if cycle is right, to make sure that you wake up, the cortisol would create stress and inject glucose in the bloodstream and that glucose will give you energy. That's what's supposed to give you energy. If that cycle is not working well, people natively would like more stress that will give them more glucose, right? So I would not recommend coffee first thing in the morning, but that's totally separate video that I'll create separately. The reason is that your nervous system is already stressed to the point of waking up. You can capitalize on that or you could stress it even more and start your day not quite well, right? Another common say, say, well, have a habit, I like it, there's nothing wrong with a cup or two of coffee. Honestly, that's probably would be me. I like coffee, I probably drink between one to two cups a day. And honestly, I'll explain in the future videos, but that's nothing wrong with coffee. If you drink good coffee, if you drink it right, which basically explain in the following videos, there's nothing wrong with drinking coffee. And the last one is, I know many people will say, I like taste. It's actually kind of related the, to the previous one, but people that like the taste tend to drink it all throughout the day. And that's where problem is. This channel is about a healthy life. So health would imply good sleep. The chemical compounds in a coffee have six hours of half-life. If you guys are not familiar with the term half-life, it's how long it takes, um, it's mostly in the pharmaceutical world, how long it takes um, main ingredient to break down to half strength. So translated to plain English is coffee have half strength in the body after six hours being already ingested. You may not feel anything after 20 minutes, but coffee keeps working to 10 to 12 hours after you finish drinking it. Hence, if you like taste of coffee, please keep drinking. Coffee is good for you. However, I would drink your last cup 10 to 12 hours before you're going to sleep. And by the way, this video is part two out of series. The part one would describe all the parts about the film. If you'd like to know what I'll be talking about in the future, have a look at uh, part one. I post, I put link uh, down below. Also, for talking of appreciation, please subscribe to my channel, like, share it. Uh, I would like to spread good word and help people to live happier, healthier life. Thank you so much. Greg from Brisbane. Until next time.